Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have a new setup. Finally, I did a new setup. I decided to finally set everything up. I literally purchased these lights and this setup a couple of months back and every time I would try to put them together, it would never work. I would get too frustrated and I'd just be like, all right, fuck this, I'm out. So yesterday I woke up and I decided, all right, I got nothing to do, today's the day, let's do it. So I moved all of my shit in my garage and I finally made myself a space to put all the equipment that I bought a very, very long time ago. But yeah, I'm very excited to make some pretty good content for you guys. And for today's look, I did a burgundy smoky eye using my Modern Renaissance palette. I absolutely love these colors. I love burgundy and reds and pinks. I just feel like it just makes the eyes look absolutely gorgeous. Literally, I can never let go of this palette. Um, it's a little worn out already. Uh, I never thought that this would be the palette that I use the most. I promise you, every time I want to do a look or a tutorial on anything, I always want to pick this up, but I'm like, let me not be boring and use the same palette, but this honestly is the best palette in this planet. Now you guys know the deal. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. And to get started, I'm taking my Banish Acne Scars Banish Oil and using that to hydrate my lips. Now this stuff is usually for your face, but to hydrate my lips, it's been a dream. And also I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brows. Now I did try to do them on camera, but it just wasn't working out. It was a hot ass mess and it was the process was extremely long. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the rest of that concealer and prep for shadow. And then I'm also going to be setting that with some translucent powder. Then taking the shade Burnt Orange to start off the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my crease, nothing too precise. That color is basically going to be a base for our other colors. Then going in with the shade Love Letter, I'm going to focus that color on the outer third of my eye and slowly blending that color towards the inner corner. Also make sure not to drag that color too far out on your outer lid. You wanna be blending that color right where your eyeball is, if that makes absolutely any sense. Then I'm taking the shade Venetian Red with the brush that actually came in the palette and I'm going to go ahead and place that color right under our crease where Love Letter was and we're just going to go ahead and darken it up. And for our lid, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadow. I think it's in the shade like Glistening Gabourey or something like that. I'll leave it down below. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lid. And with my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, I'm just going to line my eyes just to prepare for falsies. I just feel like it just gives it a cleaner, better look. Plus, you won't be able to see it because the lashes do go on top. And to prep for lashes, I'm taking my extremely floppy, broken, telescopic mascara. And for lashes today, I will be using the Coco Lashes in the style Amour. These are one of their new eyelashes. Absolutely gorgeous and like $7. Definitely a steal in my eyes. And then to prime, I'm taking the NYX Angel Veil. This stuff feels amazing on my skin. And to color correct, I'm taking my LA Girl Orange Corrector, no surprise here. Sadly, I do have discoloration around my mouth. I look like a freaking man, but it's high. You work with what you got, right? And for foundation, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, one of the best foundations out there. And I'm also using a new blender. This is the Eco Tools new, I guess you can say, beauty blender. It doesn't pick up too much product like the Beauty Blender tends to do. It doesn't streak. It's a little more dense than the other sponges, but it feels absolutely amazing and gives a beautiful application with foundation. And then taking this Maybelline, I think it is, concealer. It's terrible. Don't even bother. I don't know why I used it. It's basically because I had no other concealer to use. I'm running out, out of all of my concealers, and I haven't used it in a while, so I said, why not? terrible mistake it was just not working with my under eyes it was streaky it didn't want to blend right and it was too bad and then I'm using my airspun extra coverage translucent powder as always now I did get the extra coverage one I usually get the regular one but it makes absolutely no difference they're both the same taking my Maybelline fit me powder I'm going to just go ahead and set the areas that are not baking with a fluffy powdered brush and to bronze up my face, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Powder Foundation in the shade C6. I've said it before, this stuff is like a dupe for the MAC Give Me Sun. I use this every single time I do my makeup. I just feel like using powder foundations just gives a much flawless finish. Then going back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, I'm going to use my sponge and just clean it up. 
And for blush, I'll be taking Milani's Luminoso. And to highlight, I'm taking my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. Now what I like to do is take this brush that you guys are going to see now and set my highlight really into my skin just so it gives you a much nicer and natural finish and it doesn't look too powdery on the skin. Then taking Love Letter and Venetian Red, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. And to darken it up, I'm going back in with my ABH Brow Powder Duo and I'm placing that color right on top of the two pinks and also placing that in my waterline. Now if you have sensitive eyes, I wouldn't recommend this. I just say just to use regular eyeliner. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm just going in with the Ulta Beauty Single Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Digger. And to finish off this look, I'm just going to go ahead and use the NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Ever. And this is the completed look. If you guys like them, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to the fan bam, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And also click on the little bell that's right next to it that will notify you every single time that I upload, which I know isn't frequent, but it will be now with this setup. I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to be a responsible YouTuber. I'm going to try. Yeah, that concludes today's video. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Mwah.